This is the ScholarLink News for 8th December 2020. From as early as 2022, customers in Singapore will be able to access four digital banks. The Monetary Authority of Singapore has awarded digital full bank licenses to the Grab Singtel Consortium and technology giant C. These digital banks will be able to offer retail customers traditional banking services such as opening of accounts, deposits, credit and debit cards. They can also serve corporate customers. However, these digital banks will not have a physical presence and all transactions will be done online. Digital wholesale banking licenses were also awarded to Ant Group and another consortium comprising Greenland Financial Holdings, Link Logis Hong Kong, and Beijing Cooperative Equity Investment Fund Management. Digital wholesale banks can only serve corporate customers. Singapore now joins Hong Kong, Philippines, China, Japan, and South Korea in having virtual banks. Think about it. Are there any advantages that traditional banks with their physical branches have over the new digital banks? Do you think there will only be virtual banks in the future? More than 100 Malaysian talents were responsible for some of the visual effects seen in The Mandalorian and Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. The Mandalorian won for outstanding special visual effects at the Emmy Awards held in September. This was reviewed by the general manager of Base Digital Production, Sundiran Berhad. Base Digital Production is part of Base Media, a visual effects and animation studio with headquarters in Beijing. It has offices in Los Angeles and Kuala Lumpur. Base Media has provided support in more than 50 Hollywood films, while the first big project handled by the KL office was providing visual effects for the Michael Bay movie Six Underground. The Communications and Multimedia Ministry said that Malaysian talents were given exposure to Hollywood blockbusters through the Film in Malaysia Incentive. The program attracts international studios to approach Malaysian companies through subsidies for their expenditure in Malaysia. Think about it. Do you think the growing popularity of mobile games in Asia played a factor in the increase in quality and quantity of animators here? Are there more movies being produced in Asia? A senior Indonesian doctor admitted himself to his local hospital last week. Just a day later, he and his wife were both dead from COVID-19. The couple's deaths have raised an alarm in the nation. With the pandemic situation deteriorating, there is significant strain on Indonesia's poorly equipped health system. Regional hospitals are reaching full capacity, and there is not one ventilator to be found in the district where the senior doctor passed away. Occupancy rates for isolation rooms in certain cities have reached 80%. In the capital city of Jakarta, an independent coronavirus data initiative, which contacted 69 hospitals to help patients find hospital beds, found that 97% of them were full. There are some who feel that the government has handled the pandemic poorly. Think about it. Should the Indonesian government set up quarantine centers to house less serious cases of COVID-19 infection? What other ways are there to quickly alleviate the shortage of hospital beds? Chinese scientists 
have created the world's first light-based quantum computer named Jiu Zhang. Jiu Zhang has reliably shown that it can solve a problem no classical supercomputer can solve within a reasonable amount of time. It solved a calculation that would have taken the world's fastest classical supercomputer 600 million years to solve in 200 seconds. The only other time this has happened was with Google's 53-qubit quantum computer. Jiu Zhang is different from Google's computer because it used 76 photons to do calculations instead of superconducting materials. Most of Jiu Zhang's components can operate at room temperature, which makes it easier to make and maintain than quantum computers which use superconducting materials and must be kept at ultra-cold temperatures. Although Jiu Zhang is about 10 billion times faster than the quantum computer developed by Google, it was stressed by the Chinese scientists that Jiu Zhang is currently only programmed to do one type of calculation. Think about it. What do you think are the factors behind China being able to leapfrog other countries to this landmark achievement? Keep in mind that China was initially behind other developed nations in computer science and research. US President-elect Joe Biden will publicly take a coronavirus vaccine together with three former presidents to show its safety to the public. The three former presidents are Mr. Bill Clinton, Mr. George W. Bush, and Mr. Barack Obama. Mr. Biden commended the three former presidents who set the model as to what should be done. Once Mr. Biden takes office, he will order that masks be worn in federal buildings and transportation hubs. He will also ask Americans to wear masks for the first 100 days of his administration. He has also pledged to retain the country's top advisor on the pandemic, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Last week, the United States posted an all-time high of more than 210,000 new cases in a 24-hour period and more than 2,900 deaths. Hospitals have also exceeded 100,000 patients. Although the Pfizer vaccine has already been approved for use by Britain, the US Food and Drug Administration has yet to decide on whether to approve it on an emergency basis. Think about it. With so many new cases of infections and deaths, do you think President-elect Joe Biden should make it mandatory for all Americans to wear masks? This brings us to the end of today's edition of the ScholarLink News. Please subscribe to be notified of new videos. And as always, goodbye and have a wonderful rest of the day.